that this is the men's 60 metres final. And it brings together, well, the defending champion, Jan Volko. And he's looked so good in his heat. Europe's fastest man also in there. Kevin Krantz, who equaled the German indoor record. Out first, Dramingus Olaszowski. Seven times Polish indoor champion over this distance. The Pole Portuguese record holder who equaled that time in his semi final, Carlos Nascimento. Winning his semi final in a season's best of 6.59, Andrew Robertson, the seasoned British international. From Slovak Republic. Uh, from Slovakia, their big medal hope, Jan Volko, the defending champion from two years ago in Glasgow. Representing Germany. Focus on the doors, it's Kevin Kranz of Germany. He equaled the German indoor record with 6.52 to take the European lead and win that German indoor title just a few weeks ago. Now, this man was so impressive in his heat and semi-final. Lamont Marcel Jacobs, second on the European list this year with 6.53. Kodo Musa, new name to come to with, but nevertheless, a very, very impressive performer earlier in the day. Dane, Carl Eric Nazarov improved the Estonian indoor record to 6.62 in his semi-final. Well, the favourites and the men who are seeded are in lanes three, four, five and six. That's Robertson, Volko, Krantz and Jacobs. But we've had a few surprises over the years. Less than eight different nations represented in this final. Reliably told, that's the first time since the European Indoor Championships started to be contested back in 1970 that that's ever been the case. Or at least since eight men have contested the final. In the early years, it was only six, but in recent years, it's been eight. Britain, of course, going back over the years, a fantastic. Heritage in this particular race. Jason Gardner winning a slew of indoor titles in the first decade of the 21st century. Colin Jackson even winning an indoor title back in 1994. So, and they're away at the first time of asking. It's Lamont Jacobs who gets a very good start. Now it's Jacobs, the Italian, starting to streak away. It's Jacobs, the clear winner. And it's in the 640s. That will be an Italian record if it is. The Italian record, 651. 647, a world lead. And also an Italian record to Lamont Marcel Jacobs. We'll wait for confirmation, though, of the men who came behind him. It was a blanket finished. Krantz, 660, a long, long way adrift. Krantz given the silver medal. Been able to quite reach his German indoor record form, but let's have a look at that race again. And Lamont Jacobs, from about three strides into the race, got his head in front and was away, starting to put daylight between himself and the other seven men. Jacobs streaking away. Smallest man in the field, I think, and certainly use those long legs to great effect. France alongside him, never quite get on equal terms after the first couple of meters. Hung on, and I think it's Volkov who comes through for the bronze medal, subject to confirmation. Well, to be honest, after Jacobs, who ran an absolutely fantastic race, the rest really left their best racing back in the semi-finals. Yes, I think that's confirmation. Oh, it's Robertson. 
I don't think that's right. Let's uh, I, we'll wait for the revision. If you look at that slow mo, I think it's Volko. Yes, they do think it's Volko as well. So Jacobs. Another country on the medal table. The medals have been spread far and wide at these championships. First gold of these championships to Italy. Well, a terrific run from Jacobs. And surely a sub 10 seconds beckons outdoors. Filippo Tortu is not here. Has the Italian record at 9.99. Confirmation. Jacobs 6.47 and then after them a yawning golf back to Kevin Krantz 6.60, Jan Volko 6.61, Andrew Robertson just misses out on the medals 6.63.